All right, welcome back to the show. We are starting Monday off with a headache. No, not really a headache, but it is a little fiddly and I wasn't gonna record it because it is such a weird, weird job to put together. There's about 10 parts you have to all line up to get this carriage system back with the Groma Calibri to get these parts in. And then on the back, there's some special things you gotta slide under certain things. So there's probably gonna be good 10 minutes of me just trying to like uh, fiddle around and get all of these pieces in. So I'm gonna do my best to do it expedient, expediently and precise and explain what I'm doing. But there are gonna be times when you just have to shut up and do it. So I might not talk or explain while I try to fiddle around with the bits and bobs getting to where they go. But I will show you the bits and bobs and you will get to see the struggle. The struggle will be real. Believe me, it is a Calibri, but we got the Calibri painted and I got my air conditioner on guys. Sorry, it's 100 degrees out this week. This is like going to be our hottest week of the year up here in Washington. So I'll do my best to uh, speak loud and clear, but uh, I'm just going to do my job here. So we got the machine painted. The customer wanted a custom design in a certain color. So we got it together for them. And the first thing we're going to do is lay down a soft towel to protect a lot of the new paint. And then we're going to go ahead and slide the top of the Calibri back into the bottom of Calibri. And there's locating pins on this, so it'll help you kind of fit it, fit it where it needs to go. And then it'll just kind of fall into place like so. You heard it drop in the, into the pins. So now that's located. That's the easy part. That's that's nothing to nothing to cry about. Um, we have this ribbon lifter. If you watch my last video, there's this ribbon lifter linkage that we left in there, and then we have the carriage separated. And that's going to be the first thing we have to do is reattach the carriage to the linkage. And to do that, I have to hang it off the desk a little bit, so you can see that I have room underneath the desk to maneuver the carriage in the direction it wants to go in. Find the ribbon lifter eyelet. Let's see, right, right, right there. See, it's, there's the circle in front of my fingernail. That's where the linkage is gonna have to go. And it just kind of feeds in and then goes sideways. So straight in and then sideways and it just latches itself in with pressure. So to do that, I will attempt to feed this and rotate it where it wants to be without causing too many, too many issues. Like I said, a lot of this is just going to be me doing the job, guys, so it might be a quiet video, it might be a loud video, we'll see. It's Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. So we fed it in like so, and now it's attached. So we can kind of keep that alive. We're gonna keep that linkage together. I have it sitting in there. You can see the linkage down, down here, where my finger's pointing and wiggling. That is connected just so. And then if that wasn't the biggest thing, you have this lever right here. This is your line lock and it goes through the body. So you have to, when you put the carriage in, this has to go through this special hole right there that they cut out. And then on this side, you'll see there's a special backspace pin and that will have to slide in to there like so. So you're gonna have to have this in there, the link in there, you're gonna have to have this in there. And then on this side, there's a margin release lever there's my pokey pokey, got pokey pokey here. You'll see here's a here's a margin release lever, and then this is the lever that's connected to the carriage that goes to that margin release lever, and that has to be on the top of that. So you have to balance the linkage, this thing, this thing, this thing, and then you have to feed in these two side things that mount the carriage to the body. And 
you have to do that all without anything falling apart and that's the tricky part because something always wants to fall apart so without further ado we're gonna get to it so we got this centered this kind of centered that's good that's under there so this is how the carriage is want to, is gonna want to go it's gonna want to go just like this sitting right here everything is lined up in the back space this margin release is through the body relief cut out um, this is under there and now to feed in some thingies I know you guys bad camera angles again but this is what we're doing so on this thing there's this little rubber baby bumper buggy bumper right here in the middle that's your uh, shift alignment nub and so that you can see where that's going to go there's a shift alignment screw right here so we're going to have to temporarily slide this back out slide this thing up around and over the top over the top of the ribbon drive gear okay so that's where that wants to go i think does it go over the top or i think it goes over the top we'll double check if something doesn't work then we know that it goes underneath yeah it goes underneath so this is going to go underneath the ribbon drive and then over the top of the linkage that's behind it and then that will go there and you'll see this is this will connect to that eventually it'll connect up into that once i get all of this back together and i'm gonna have to do it to the other side so we'll go ahead and we'll feed this up and under and over and around where it wants to be up and over and around now this goes under 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 and up so that linkage is set so this These are not out of line. There we go. This is upside down. Yes, like that. Like that. Like that. Okay. Now that we straighten that out, this is going to go up through here, under there. And then all of these things have locating pins, so that you'll know where it goes on the frame on the body, the body work, but it won't help you getting it in position with all the rest. Make sure I'm get into here. Oh, there it goes. That's aligned. That's aligned. So now we can, and these things are going to fall. See this, they just fall right out. And, and there's two linkages here on either side two pins that have to go into the linkages on there and then all the other stuff that we explained earlier it's all going to go up in here as one and it is not far so i'm probably going to be quiet for this part and i'm just going to start to try to do my best to align everything and get it attached how it needs to be attached Pins in the back, pin in the front. So get these pinned in. Okay, this pin set is in. I can try to get this pin set in. This is where you really need like six, six or seven hands to work on the calibri. Pins. Oops, let me put that under the thing. That under the thing first. Pins. Okay, so we got the carriage end pieces attached to the carriage. So these are pinned in. There's a pin in the front, pin in the back, and they're connected to this, the arms that go forward. And so that part is stable. Now it's a matter of feeding all of this stuff in 
as one so we can get all of the guys in at the same time. Try to get that onto the front. We have to try to make sure that this margin release is under its lever. We have to make sure that this mine lock goes under its slot in the frame and then we have to make sure that this backspace lever is lined up into there and once we do that we can kind of start arranging the arms in the front here to line up with where they want to go because those have to go into slots up in the front and if we cross our cross our breath and hold our fingers we could try to get this in in one kind of shot maybe i don't know never been that lucky with the colibris we can get this side in ah i think we did it folks i think we are locked and loaded let's go ahead and flip it over make sure i'm just double checking that all the pins and all the things are lined up like they're supposed to I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and try not to lose everything like I just did. Yeah, it, it flopped over. It's on itself, so I'm going to have to redo it. Okay. Redo, redo. I'm going to get some screws out. This time I'm going to pin some screws in here just in case. Is this the, is this the Calibri case? I think these are the Calibri screws. Let me find the Calibri screws. Yeah, in here somewhere. There we go. Calibris. Oh. We're going to pin this down. I think that was my mistake. What I did is I, I didn't pin down the body with screws. So let's try to get these all back in position. Those didn't fall off, that's good. So all I have to do is re-make sure that this goes under the under the link. This goes over to here. Into its shift link. Excuse my reach. Okay, so I think we got that side pretty much squared away. Let's get this relief into its body frame that goes into there make sure that that pin lines up into its house and make sure oh, this didn't get in its thing in the front so I have to re pull this out oh try it again to get it up into here see I'm trying to line up this into its slot and this has its slot over here slot slotkins and then it falls out see we had it the first time guys and then I, I got too excited with myself and it, I had to turn into a struggle so I'm trying I'm trying part is getting this side on because as soon as you put that in it kind of falls apart on itself all right so I think we're all under there again to try to line her up just line up there no don't fall out of that slot please to go in there. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I think we're back to where we were five minutes ago. Everything is in its home, looks like it. We need to mount this body. So it 
can remain stabilized. If I can find some screw holes up in the front here, which don't seem to be light. It's lights. I'm trying to hold everything together here so it doesn't fall apart on me. Let's see if we can get a couple of screws started in the body. Mm, it's not finding that screw. Let's go ahead and take a look in there. See why it's not. Let's see why it's not. We'll just go ahead and lock it down in the back screws then for now and figure out that part later. Oh, it's not lining up. I'm just trying to find the locating pins for the body so the, the body can stay in. Oh, now the, now the carriage fell out again. So we'll have to do this carriage again. See guys, this is the reality of it. 45 minutes of playing this Calibri game. And you wonder why you stopped doing Calibris for people. Okay, so that's in. It is not in. It is not in. Okay. Everything's in over here. This side is in. This is why I wasn't going to record it also, because I knew it was probably going to take me a good 40 minutes to line all this stuff up. So that's, everything looks in again. Let's see if we can't keep it in. I'll try to get this body screw in. That's all that I need really is just some body screws to Lock it into place. Lock the body in. If I had a couple extra hands, it would be awesome. Okay, turn that in. Let's see if we can get this other screw in. And then we can flip her over. Maybe a magneted hand. Hopefully this magnet will balance in there. Nope. Let's see if I can put the screw in. Nope. I'm trying to balance the screw on the tip of a magnet so I can get it into the slot because I only got one hand. Because I'm holding the other side over here with the carriage up. Because if that carriage moves, all this stuff's going to fall apart. Okay, I got that screw started. That screw is in. That screw is in. Tight. So I think we can flip it over now without it. The, the body falling off the frame. And now we can kind of give it a mini test run. You can see that it's the carriage is working for the most part. It's not bolted in. Carriage is working, ribbon lift is working, the bell is working. So we can move on to locking this down into the locking the carriage half down. I can't remember which bolts go to the carriage. Mm -hmm. Have them separated. Carriage bolts. Carriage bolts. One in here. Ding, 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 ding. And we haven't even got to the fun part of putting the platen back in. This is just uh, this is just setting the body back into its frame like it wants it. Okay. 
Okay. So now we got that side of the carriage locked into place. We'll go ahead and come over here. We'll get this side of the carriage locked into place. And then these rear screws are at some weird angles. You got to kind of halfway get it in there with the tip of the screwdriver and screw it in at an angle. Shift lock on. A lot of balancing. This typewriter is a, is a balancing act. That's what it is. Okay. I think that's good. We can call that good. That works. That's the margin release. We'll go ahead and go through a cycle. Oh, the line lock is not line locking like it should. Let's see what the line lock is doing here. I'm probably not going to go into the minor details of everything. Oh, there it goes. Let's see. Something is stopping the line lock. Or it's stopping before it hits the line lock, I mean. Oh, I think it's this. This this um, ribbon hook got in the way. Yeah, that's all it was. Okay, so the line lock was jamming because the carriage, when it would reach this far, this ribbon hook got pushed back slightly. So it would hit that and stop that. So what I did is I ended up pulling this forward back to where it was. That's kind of the downsides of working upside down on the machine, but that allowed it to go its full. And now the lock is locking like it should. Cool. So the typewriter is pretty much there. Should we continue? Should I, should I continue with this? I mean, that's pretty much it, guys, for that part. I mean, I might have to do it in a sec second part to get the uh, get the platens in and all that stuff. I might have to do that in a, two, in a second part for you guys. Whew. That was not fun. I think I am going to call it here, give everything like a good... Oh, uh, you know what? We'll just continue. If it's an hour long video, screw it, who cares? We will now put back our thingamajigger, the ribbon reversal switch. Remember that from the other video? I have to find that specialized screw somewhere. It's in here somewhere. The ends, this is for the colibris. That screw right there. Where did I put it? Right in there. Ah, another screw that doesn't look like the rest of the screws. Are you guys still watching, or are you sleeping? So put the ribbon. Ribbon reverse switch back into its home. That's your manual ribbon reverse, but it has the automated call center. And then what are we gonna do? Are we gonna put the springs into the we can put the springs back on the space bar from the last video? Remember I showed you guys deep down inside there. Space bar. Taking things apart is the easy part. It's getting all this stuff to go back into its home the way it wants to go. That's the hard part. But it wasn't too bad. It could have been worse. I've had it been worse. We had it the first time. Can you believe that? I did it on the first go, but I missed 
misjudged my abilities to hold all this stuff together. I'm just trying to fish this space bar spring out. It's way down in there. Exciting adventures. Oh! Exciting adventures. Shaky, shaky. Get that spring back on that side. If I'm, gonna, if I'm gonna start getting in here too much in the camera view, then I'll, I'll start cutting it. Get this over here. There's the front of the hook. Oh, almost. Oh, it's barely hanging on. Oh, got it. Okay, got that. Got that in place. We'll go ahead and throw a couple more of these body screws in here for now. Some of these body screws are going to be tied in with the feet. So I'm just going to do the furthest one forward and the rearest, the rearest one. The rearest one back. And then we'll leave the other, these other two for the feet. See which ones they need for the feeties. Locked, locked, locked. And then on the top side, I almost forgot when I did this, there's also a spring that goes right here in the front. I didn't even take it off. It just kind of popped off when I took it off. You can see there's a hole right here in the front, and then there'll, there'll be a spring back here. You got to take that spring off to get it from the body focus. Anyway, there's the spring, and that just works. This It's already sprung, but it helps get this uh, lock off, the carriage lock, or the yeah the shift lock. So we'll go ahead and attach that weird spring that is in a weird spot, if I can find it, got it, get it back in there, okay, okay, now the, that's what pulls your your shift lock. See that spring right up there where my thumb is pointing connects all the way to there and that's what gives you that little tiny flick of action like that right there and you need that or else your shift lock will never unlock. Weird. Chroma Calibri. Why are you being weird? Why are you such a weird guy? This paint graphic I did, you gotta understand this is one inches of space, so don't have a lot of space to do custom graphics and all that, but what I did do is put some hummingbird wings on it, and these are, they're color shifting in the same colors that a hummingbird wing would shift to, kind of like a purple, green, blue. Yeah, I think it kind of fits it. Fits the hummingbird thing nice. I still have to put in the glue back in the decal of the, the logos. But I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm not going to drag it on. Yeah, I'm not going to drag it on because it's 30 minutes. If I stop it and start it again, I'll, I'll redo the getting the, car the carriage back into place. So we'll call that good for now. We got the typewriter typing and working as it should. It's just this back half we gotta do. So thanks for watching 30 minutes of me struggling. Hopefully you learned something. And if you have any questions about these Calibris, uh, call somebody else. <laughs> no, I will help out when I can, but yeah, it's just, it's tough, 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 tough. All right guys, talk to you later.